The volcanic eruption on the Spanish Canary Islands has destroyed dozens of homes and forced thousands of people to evacuate. It erupted on Sunday for the first time in half a century. Ian Lee is in London following this story and some other top headlines from around the world. Ian, good to see you. What more can you tell us? Oh, good morning, Laura. Yeah, the videos coming out of the Canary Islands are simply spectacular, but unfortunately, the volcano's eruption has left destruction in its wake. Roughly 150 homes have been destroyed so far as rivers of lava snake down the mountain. Spanish officials have evacuated around 5,500 residents as a precaution. Fortunately, so far, no casualties have been reported. As of now, all people can do is really just sit back and watch the lava make its way toward the sea. Uh, officials believe the volcano will remain active for the next few days. We're moving on to Canada now, where Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's gamble to win a majority in Parliament didn't pay off. Although he will remain in power, he had called a snap election, betting his popularity could give him a strong mandate. But in the final days of the election, the race narrowed. His opponent criticized him for calling for an election during a pandemic. Uh, major issues during the campaign included the handling of COVID, climate change, housing, and gun control. Trudeau was upbeat about the results, though. His Liberal Party is now on course to form a minority government. Next, we are in Rwanda, where the man who inspired the film Hotel Rwanda has been convicted on terrorism-related charges. A court sentenced Paul Rusabaginga to 25 years in prison. The government accused him and 20 others of being behind two attacks in 2018 that killed nine people. Rusabaginga uh, has been a sharp critic of Rwanda's president. His daughter called the charges politically motivated. A rights groups have also described the verdict as a show trial. Finally, we end today with a world record. Two Japanese sisters have been certified as the world's oldest living identical twins at the ripe old age of 107 and 300 days. Guinness confirmed their achievement, which beat out the previous record also held by a set of Japanese twins. The new record holders were born in 1913. And to give you an idea of just how old that is, Woodrow Wilson was president of the United States that year. And Laura, because of COVID-19, the sisters were unable to celebrate their achievement together. Of course, I wanted to know what their elixir of life was, but unfortunately, I couldn't find the secret. The two ladies did joke about their achievement, so I'm going to say a sense of humor has to be one of the key ingredients. Well, a sense of humor is certainly a life skill and potentially now a life extender. Ian, thank you.